Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a Toro Personal Pace gas lawnmower here. Customer says the drive doesn't want to work and there's some squealing going on. So when customers come in my shop and tell me that the drive quit working on their lawnmower all of a sudden and they can hear some squealing, the very first thing I check is the belt. Sometimes stuff may get stuck in the belt and it's enough to mess up the whole drive system. Now, because I do have to flip the mower over here to check that, I'll make sure I'm flipping the side with the air filter up. Now, since the mower came in the shop, I did not start it to try out the drive because if there was something stuck, I just don't want to make it worse for the machine. So first of all here, I'm going to check over here where the belt is. And you can disconnect the spark plug boot for safety purposes as well before you do this, especially if you're going to be turning the blade. So if this happens to you, check around the belt here. Look for sticks or twigs that may be stuck in the belt pulley right here. So I'm gonna have a good look here. And you know what, it all looks clear on the engine part. I don't see anything uh, sticking in there. So what you want to do next is just follow the belt and go to the back transmission right here. You'll see the belt there and the small pulley up there as well. And here's the belt. You can see the pulley there as well. And would you look at that? I think I can see the problem. Now if you see what I'm seeing, it looks like this is the problem right there. Yep. This is what I often see guys is twigs get in there. This is a small piece of wood and that's enough to mess up your whole drive system. The belt looks good, doesn't look chewed up or anything like that. So I think this is a quick fix guys. Let's flip it back and try it out. So I'm going to start it up and listen for squealing but I don't think there will be any because that small piece of wood is gone. By the way, this machine here has an electric starter. And the battery's kept right in here for that starter. Good setup. Anyway, that was an easy fix, guys. It's not always that easy. If you've done this and you still have issues, you might want to check the belt tension when the lever is applied for the drive to go and also the pulley. Sometimes the pulley on the engine, which is part of the blade adapter, needs to be replaced. And if you still can't figure it out, just take it to a shop. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe and you'll see me next time. Have a great day.